Have you eaten speculas lately? Did you know that cinnamon gives a unique taste for the speculas? It's actually coming from tree bark. It takes like 15 years to harvest. Now 85% of the cinnamon consumed worldwide is coming from a very small region in Indonesia. As you might think, that the cinnamon farmers are very rich, they have a sufficient life, but that's actually not true. Cinnamon has been used as a spice since hundreds of years ago, or maybe thousands. Well, another fact is also that hundreds and maybe thousands of smallholder cinnamon farmers in Indonesia are depending on the cinnamon business. From traditional peelers until very big processing companies. My research trips in 2017 provide me insight and facts which leads to my research today to improve the value chain of cinnamon so the farmers can gain more profit. No, they receive only 20% of the whole sale price. Sad, isn't it? They have to wait 15 years to harvest and they receive, receive very less of it. The fact is that my research is not going as well as I have imagined to be. There are many constraints in the process of the cinnamon, such as farmer's behavior. And then another one is also the access to market, use of technology. And at the end, what's related to my research is on the certifications. So we should find an actually a way to, to make it better for the farmers. My last research tip is I've also found out that the smallholders are selling their land to the middleman. And they actually work for the middleman. And they get a very small incentive after the harvest. It's a very bad deal for them. Well, one of the main problems is that the wholesaler and the business have the certification tools and have the certification to sell the cinnamon in the European or in the United States market. So the question is, is it possible for the farmers to have this own tailor-made certification so they can sell it directly to the market here? So they can gain more profit of it? Well, I'm doing the research to make an own certification more like a tailor-made globally it's not only talking about sustainability, it's not only talking about the good agriculture practices, but the fact is the certification scheme that I'm doing on my research is to improve the livelihood of the farmers. So basically what I want to achieve from this new certification scheme is that the farmers will receive a living out of it. So next time when you eat speculas, always remember where the products are coming from, and especially from a very small agency in Kerinci, Indonesia. Enjoy.